Have you ever wondered about the carnivore diet? Well, mate, you're not alone. It's a topic that's been gaining steam in recent years and for good reason. The carnivore diet is as straightforward as it gets. The focus is on consuming meat and drinking water, with a sprinkle of salt for seasoning if you fancy. That's it. No complicated recipes, no counting calories, just good, hearty meat and water. Now, you might be wondering, is it really just meat and water? In essence, yes. But as with everything, there are nuances. For instance, organ meats can be incorporated due to their nutrient richness. Think of liver, kidney, or heart. But remember, moderation is key. Too much of a good thing can lead to a nutrient overload, such as hypervitaminosis from excessive vitamin intake. The carnivore diet also requires a keen understanding of what not to eat, which is just as important as knowing what to consume. It's crucial to avoid all plant-based foods, sugars, and artificial ingredients. This includes sources and seasonings that may contain hidden sugars or unwanted additives. And yes, this extends to honey too. While technically an animal product, honey is essentially bee-regurgitated plant nectar and rich in fructose, posing similar health risks as high fructose corn syrup. The beauty of the carnivore diet is its simplicity. It's about resetting your body's natural hunger signals distorted by carbohydrate intake in typical diets. Listen to your body. Eat fatty meats until you're satiated and avoid eating when you're not truly hungry. It's about optimizing wellness without the complexities of Western or plant-based diets, freeing up energy to focus on living your life to the fullest. Common misconceptions, challenges, and critiques. Sure, they exist, but armed with knowledge, personal testimonies, and a bit of flexibility, you can navigate through them with confidence. The carnivore diet is a journey of simplicity and natural eating, providing health benefits free from the clutter of processed foods and sugars. So, are you ready to embark on this journey? Let's dig in. Knowing what to avoid is as important as knowing what to eat. In the carnivore diet, steering clear of certain foods is crucial. The core principle of the diet is to keep at bay all plant-based foods, sugars, and artificial ingredients. This might sound reasonably straightforward, but it's astonishing how these can sneak into our diets in the most unexpected ways. Let's start with sauces and seasonings. When you're enjoying a succulent steak, it's tempting to reach for that bottle of barbecue sauce. But remember, these sauces often contain sugar and artificial ingredients. Even the ones that claim to be sugar-free may still contain artificial sweeteners, which are a no-go. Instead, opt for simple seasonings like salt and pepper or herbs and spices and then there's sugar. While it's obvious that you should avoid sweets and sugary drinks, you might not realize that sugar is hiding in many other foods. It's in everything from bread to canned vegetables, even in salad dressings. So it's not just about skipping dessert, it's about carefully checking the ingredients of everything you consume. Now, let's talk about honey. Yes, honey is an animal product, but it's essentially bee regurgitated plant nectar. It's rich in fructose, which can pose similar health risks as high fructose corn syrup. So, despite its natural origins, honey is off the table when you're following the carnivore diet. Lastly, all plant-based foods are to be avoided. This includes fruits, vegetables, grains, and legumes. While these foods are often touted as healthy, they're not part of the carnivore diet. The focus here is on animal products, specifically meat, and it's important not to deviate from that. Remember, the key to the carnivore diet is strict adherence to its guidelines, avoiding all plant-based foods, sugars, and artificial ingredients. Stick to the path of meat and water, and you'll be well on your way to reaping the benefits of this natural, simplified way of eating. Many adopt the carnivore diet for its numerous health benefits. Quite the statement, wouldn't you agree? But it's not just a catchy phrase, it's the reality for many. The carnivore diet, with its focus on meat and water, offers an array of health benefits. For starters, it eliminates the need to count calories or manage portions, a common headache experienced with other diets. No more tedious math or weighing your food. Instead, you eat until you're satisfied, and that's it. The diet's simplicity is indeed one of its most attractive features. Moreover, the carnivore diet helps reset your hunger cues. You see, typical Western diets, laden with carbohydrates, can distort our body's natural hunger signals, leading us to overeat or crave unhealthy foods. But by focusing on fatty meats, the carnivore diet allows you to realign with your body's innate hunger cues. You eat when you're truly hungry, 
not just when you're bored or stressed. It's a return to a more natural state of being, a way of eating that our ancestors would recognize. Now, you might be thinking, that's all well and good, but what about nutrients? Great question. The carnivore diet is nutrient dense, providing all the essential vitamins, minerals, and proteins your body needs. Organ meats in particular are superstars in this regard, packed with nutrient rich goodness. And remember, moderation is key to avoid nutrient overload, particularly hypervitaminosis from excessive vitamin intake. And let's not forget about the potential health improvements. Many people report better digestion, increased energy, and improved mental clarity when following the carnivore diet. Some even experience weight loss or improved symptoms of chronic diseases. To sum up, the carnivore diet offers a simplified approach to eating that can reset your hunger cues, eliminate the need for calorie counting, and provide a plethora of nutrients. It's a diet that's rooted in our evolutionary past and geared towards optimizing our health in the present. By listening to your body's natural hunger signals, you can enjoy the health benefits of the carnivore diet. It's about embracing simplicity, focusing on natural foods, and tuning into your body's needs. What could be more beneficial than that? Every diet has its misconceptions and challenges, and the carnivore diet is no different. Perhaps one of the most common misconceptions about the carnivore diet is the fear of gaining weight from fatty meats. The thought of consuming large quantities of animal fats and proteins might seem a bit daunting, especially if you're coming from a background of calorie counting and portion control. But let's debunk this myth right here. Unlike carbohydrates, fats and proteins make you feel satiated quicker and for longer, reducing the need for frequent meals or snacks. You're not just mindlessly loading up on fat, you're feeding your body what it needs, when it needs it. On to the next challenge, the social pressures of alcohol consumption. We all know that social situations can be a minefield when you're on a strict diet. The carnivore diet doesn't include alcohol, but that doesn't mean you need to become a hermit. You can still enjoy your time out with friends, even if you're sipping on water or a non-alcoholic beverage. And if there's a special occasion where you'd like to have a glass of wine or a beer, remember, it's not the end of your carnivore journey. It's just a detour. Flexibility is the key here. The carnivore diet is not about perfection, but consistency. It's about making choices that support your health the majority of the time. A slice of birthday cake at your child's party or a glass of champagne at your best friend's wedding doesn't negate all the positive steps you've taken. It's how you eat most of the time that matters, not the occasional indulgence. And lastly, adherence to diet guidelines is paramount. Yes, the carnivore diet is about simplicity, meat and water, but it's also about listening to your body. If your body is telling you it's full, stop eating. If it's telling you it's thirsty, drink water. This diet is not about forcing a one-size-fits-all approach, but about learning to understand your body's signals and responding accordingly. Remember, minor deviations do not derail overall progress. Remain flexible and keep your focus on the larger goal. Critiques are a part of any diet and the carnivore diet is no exception. It's crucial to arm yourself with knowledge and understanding to address any skepticism. This diet, like any other, is often scrutinized, especially concerning cholesterol and meat consumption. So, how do you address these critiques? The key lies in educating yourself. Dive into credible sources, research papers, and scientific studies. Gain a solid understanding of the nutritional aspects of the carnivore diet and how it affects your body. It's also very beneficial to listen to personal testimonies. People who've been on this diet can provide invaluable insights. They can share their experiences, the changes they've seen, and the challenges they've faced. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you know, the better equipped you are to make informed decisions about your health and diet. Armed with evidence and personal testimonies, you can confidently navigate through the skepticism. Embracing the carnivore diet is a journey, not a destination. We've journeyed through the fundamentals of this diet, highlighting its simplicity and focus on natural unprocessed foods. This diet is a testament to the power of simplicity, stripping away the clutter of artificial ingredients and sugars and bringing us back to our primal roots. It's essential to remember that this diet is not rigid. 
It's a flexible framework that allows for adjustments based on your personal experiences and preferences. The carnivore diet is about tuning into your body's needs and responding appropriately, not about adhering to a strict set of rules. As you embark on this journey, embrace the health benefits that come your way. You may notice increased energy, improved digestion, and a newfound appreciation for the natural richness of meats. This diet isn't just about what you eat, but how you feel. Remember, this diet is about listening to your body's needs. Feel free to drop a comment below if you have any questions or need further clarification. Until next time, stay healthy.